Today on the Mr. Productivity Podcast, we're diving into the transformative power of journaling and how it can supercharge your productivity. And you'll discover the journal I use and love, learn my personal journaling strategies, and get ready to take your productivity to the next level with some powerful journaling prompts. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is the Mr. Productivity Podcast, the show that is dedicated to empowering you to conquer distractions, prioritize effectively, and gain daily clarity. Now, before we get into the show, I have a very important question to ask you. Would you like some free training from me, Mr. Productivity? I'm hoping that you said yes not just thought it, but I hope you said yes so loud that people around you going, what's going on right now? <laughs> I want you, if you want this free training, I want you to head on over to my website, mrproductivity.com, M-I-S-T-E-R, mrproductivity.com. Enter your name and email address at the top of the page and then click the button that says grab the free training. That's it. It's my gift to you, Mr. Productivity. Dot com. All right, let's get started. So in our time together today, you're going to get an overview of my journaling approach, the specific journal I use and love, and some practical journaling prompts. Why journaling? Well, there are many benefits of journaling. Among them, here are just four. It gives you mental clarity. It can give you relief from stress improved productivity. Ooh, I like that word. You had me at productivity. And according to WebMD, journaling supports mental health by reducing anxiety. It can break the nonstop cycle of obsessive thinking and brooding. Anybody relate to that? Improves the awareness and perception of events. It can help regulate emotions and it can encourage awareness. For years, I dismissed the power of journaling. I would be on the bandwagon and jump off the bandwagon and get back on the bandwagon and jump off the bandwagon. And when I was on that bandwagon, I would switch from journal to journal to journal in the quest to find the perfect journal. If you are searching for the perfect journal, the perfect app, the perfect software, the perfect book, there's another name for that, procrastination. Just find something you like and love and will use, and that's it. So don't overthink this. Before we go on, I want to address the elephant in the room. There are print journals and there are electronic journals. There are several very fine journaling apps out there in the world. Day one, Apple's got a journaling app. There's so many good ones out there. I prefer to journal in a notebook. Whether you want to use a print journal or you want to use an app, you're going to get value out of the podcast today. Choosing the right journal is a very personal choice because if you don't find the journal that speaks for you without procrastinating, you probably won't use it. The journal I use is a journal from Gallery Leather. They are not a sponsor of the show. I am not getting any money from them whatsoever by talking about Gallery Leather. And you don't have to buy a Gallery Leather journal to use the strategies I'm going to share with you on the show today. The particular one I use, and I get asked this all the time. That's why I'm creating an episode about this. I use their eight by five and a half ruled desk leather journal. They make journals that are not leather, but this is the one I use. Now, the reason why I like this leather journal is because it is thick, but it is also thin. Huh? Stay with me. So it's got 192 pages. It's bound, glued, and stitched into a refined, almost indestructible, full grain leather cover. Its pages are acid-free with just the right, this is their word, not mine, just the right tooth to make writing with either a ballpoint pen or a number two pencil, a noteworthy experience. And my particular journal has gold gilded pages. It is assembled 
in Bar Harbor, Maine, USA, and they've been doing this for 40 years. That's a long time. You can buy this journal from Amazon. They do have an Amazon store, but whenever I find a company I like to support, I try to buy direct because they get to keep more of the money. The pen I use is a blue Pilot G2 1.0. I like the thicker writing style of the 1.0. The one thing you have to be aware of when you use the Pilot pen, it takes a couple seconds to dry. So I highly recommend if you use the Pilot G2 pen, which is a very popular pen in the world and on Amazon, don't just write and close your journal because you'll get smudges and that drives me crazy. Again, it's important that you choose a journal that fits your personal preferences and lifestyle because having the right journal leads to a consistent and fruitful journaling practice. One of the biggest issues people have with journaling is, what do I journal about? Well, you can journal about anything you want. And if you get an app, they will usually give you prompts, ask you questions that you can answer. I... Again, use a printed journal, and I have become a collector of journaling prompts. So here's how I look at journaling each and every day. Notice what I said, each and every day. I don't journal whenever I feel like it, although you can. I journal every day. So in the morning, I write my goals down every day. Yes, every day. They've done research on people who write their goals down every day are far more likely to achieve their goals than people who write them down once a year and maybe think about them. Maybe. Often they don't. So I write my goals down every single day. Then I answer several prompts. Now I have become a collector of journaling prompts. I don't use them all, but I'm always on a lookout oh, that's a good journaling prompt, and I write them down. So here's the ones I use every day. What's one thing I'm grateful for? What's one thing I'm excited about? And be honest with you, I usually answer this question with one word, today, because I love being alive, and so I write today, but you can write whatever you want. And again, I'm writing these prompts out every day, and I'm writing my answers out every day. Third prompt. What is one virtue I want to exhibit? This could be kindness, it could be gentleness, it could be peace, it could be joy. One virtue that I want to exhibit. What's one thing I need to do? And the toughest prompt I answer is, what's one thing I'm avoiding? Mm, Yeah. I also answer these prompts. What worked yesterday? What can I improve on today? What will I focus on today? Yes, you probably have a to-do list as I do. Yes, you probably have a calendar as I do, but there's something magical about writing it in your journal. Holds you accountable. Who can I help today? Hmm, that's a good one. What micro wins must I achieve today before I go to sleep? Now, don't overthink this. It could be I read for an hour. It could be I walk 10,000 steps. It could be I'm nice to my spouse. So don't overthink this. Just think of things that you need to do today that are going to make it a great day. Here are some more prompts that I've collected, but I haven't used yet. How can I increase my business? How can I optimize my health? How can I change the world? How can I become a better husband, dad, neighbor, friend? Who must I forgive from my past? Ooh. Now, throughout the day, I will journal whenever I have something on my heart I want to journal about. And if I need clarity on something, whether it's writing a sales page, creating a podcast episode, whatever, I pull out my journal and I just start writing. Writing brings me clarity. Now, in the evening before I go to bed, I always answer one prompt. What are three things I'm grateful for. One of the things I do to challenge myself is I never, I won't say never, but I try not to repeat the same thing. So I don't always say like my wife, my dogs, my friends. I try to come up with different things because I am grateful for a lot of things. And I try to focus on the day 
what what am I grateful for that happened today? Keeps my brain sharp. Couple notes for you. I print in my journal. I've been told I have very good printing and I want to be able to read my journals later, months, years, decades later. And maybe my daughters will be interested in reading their dad's journals sometime in the future after I'm gone, which won't be for another 52 years. I'm only 58 years young. Maybe someday I'll be really famous like some of the Stoics, like Epictetus and Marcus Aurelius, and people will want to buy my journals because I am such a man of wisdom. (laughs) Hey, I'm going to dream. I'm going to dream big, right? When I write in my journal... I write without judging myself. I don't edit myself. I don't say, what are you writing that thing down for? I write because I'd like to write. Now, I love Gallery Leather so much. Again, not a sponsor of the show. I also have other journals for business use, for taking notes, and planning, yearly planning. And again, I buy direct from Gallery Leather so they get to keep a little more money in their pockets. If you are a journaler, maybe you're an occasional journaler, maybe you want to start journaling, maybe you've been on and off the bandwagon like I have, just do it. Don't overthink it. Again, don't procrastinate and look for the perfect journal, whether it's a printed journal or an app. They don't exist. Just start. And if you really want to start today and you don't have a journal, Get a notebook laying around your house. Go borrow one of your kids' notebooks and just start. Once you start and you don't overthink it and you use some of the prompts I've given you on the show today, you probably will fall in love with journaling as I have. So here is my big question for you from the episode today. What are your favorite journaling prompts? I want to know. I Like I said, I'm a collector of journaling prompts. So what are your favorite journaling prompts. Here's an easy way to share with me. Head on over to Instagram or TikTok and send me a DM. Say, hey, Mark, listen to your show on journaling. Here are some of the journaling prompts I use. I'd really appreciate that. And if you haven't done so already, whatever podcast platform you're listening to this on, would you please follow the show? When you smash that follow button, It tells that podcast player to serve up this podcast to other people and I can help them like I've helped you. And don't forget to get free training and find anything else you want to find out about me, Mr. Productivity. Well, if only I had a website. Oh, I do. Mr. Productivity.com. M-I-S-T-E-R. Mr. Productivity.com. Thank you so much for your time and attention for listening to this episode of the Mr. Productivity Podcast. I'll be back real soon with a brand new episode. Until then, stay productive, start journaling, and stay positive.